in this problem, given f of x equals 25 x plus 9 over x, we're going to find the critical values of the function f and use the first derivative test to find any local extrema. From the function, it's not defined at x equals 0, so we have to set it aside and take it out from the graph or any possible uh, critical values. To find the critical value, we're going to start with finding the derivative. This is part A. So f of x equals 25x plus 9 over x, which is 25x plus 9 times x to the negative first. So the derivative of f prime, which is the derivative with respect to x of 25x plus 9 times x to the negative first, that gives us 25 minus 9 times x to the negative second, or 25 minus 9 over x squared. And we are going to find the critical values. We call the critical values obtained from two different cases. Um, the case at f prime 0 and f prime undefined. This case, we have the fraction form. So we're going to rewrite as 25 minus 9 over x squared as one, one fraction. 25 means 25 over 1. So we have 25 x squared minus 9 all divided by x squared as the simplified form of the derivative the critical value, the case at f prime equals 0, and the case at f prime is undefined. We call the one, the derivative 0 means the slope is 0. So we're going to look at the numerator equals 0, and the undefined means the denominator equals 0. The numerator 25x squared minus 9 equals 0. If us, this is the 5x minus 3, 5x plus 3 equals 0, or x equals 3 over 5 and negative 3 over 5. Both of them are 0, so we keep both of them. The denominator that x squared equals 0 gives us x equals 0, but we cannot use it because it's not defined. Function f of x is not defined at x equals 0. So we toss it away. So down to two numbers for the critical value. And in part B, we are going to use the first derivative test to find the local max local min on the real number line, which is the line to represent the size of the derivative. For the derivative in the most factorable form, we have 5x minus 3 times 5x plus 3, all divided by x squared. And the two critical values, negative 3 over 5, positive 3 over 5, at, at the negative 3 over 5, the m going to be 0, m going to be 0. So we have three pieces. Also, the point that undefined, which is a point zero. So going to break it up one more time. This is point zero. <clears throat> so to determine the sign, we have the interval x between um, 3 over 5 to infinity. That's one of them. And then x between negative 3 over 5 and 3 over 5, but x cannot be zero as a breaking point. And the last one is x is less than negative 3 over 5. So when you plug it in, see the bottom always positive because the power 2. The numerator, if you put the x value greater than 3 over 5, say the value 1, the first factor is going to be plus side, the negative plus side, overall going to be positive inside. And then the second one between negative 3 over 5 and 3 over 5, we have the first factor factor as negative as positive in um, negative inside sorry and then the second one as positive then we're gonna get the overall product as negative negative on the left side right side of the line x equals zero and for x less than negative three over five we have both factor negative inside the product gonna be plus side okay, plus side here and we're going to determine the increasing, decreasing behavior, increasing, 
decreasing, decreasing, increasing. So we have the local max at x equals negative three over five. And the local min at x equals three over five. 